Okay, so now we actually want to calculate the work done when we take another positive charge Q from way out here and move it and bring it right in to point A. So what's easiest to use superposition here and just divide it into two pieces. So the work done, oh, we should be careful here, by the electric field from the positive charge, work done from this positive charge, well, remember the positive charge is going to have an electric field pointing away. So when this, when we bring in another positive charge, that electric field is going to do minus work, so we're going to get a minus sign there. And then we're going to have a K, and then we have they're at the same magnitude, Q, Q, over R squared. Well, the final distance that we're at here is this distance here. This is R positive, I'll call it. And that's just going to be equal to the square root of 2 times A. The work done by the electric field due to the negative charge, well, the negative charge, of course, has an electric field pointing towards it. So the negative charge is actually going to do positive work plus k q q and then the distance that it ends up is just this distance a here so there's no square root of 2 so the total work done by the electric field is going to be equal to plus k q q over a minus k q q the square root of 2 times a so now we can just plug some numbers in here we're going to get um, 9 times 10 to the 9th for k. Q's are 3 times 10 to the minus 6th, and they're the same, so we just square that. And then we get 1 over a, which is 5 centimeters, so 1 over 0 0.05 minus 1 over the square root of 2 times 0 0.05. When I plug that into my calculator, get about half a joule.